All right, hello, 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 guys and girls. It's your Crypto, crypto Channel coming at you. It's January 17th, 2022. We're getting a little dip right now. I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but uh, I actually forgot that it was Martin Luther King Day and that the markets aren't open. Had I known that yesterday, I probably would have been like, hey, we might have some downside action. Um, so a lot of this bull market has been propped up by big institutions, big money, stock market. So the stock market off duty right now essentially there's not a whole lot of buying or trading activity low volume regardless of selling or buying so whatever's happening today is going to be probably low volume and if we do get another dip which i'm kind of seeing you know uh, this dip doesn't seem completed to me uh, i'm thinking uh between 41 and 42 you know about 41 42k um this would give us a retest of this um, previous uh, resistance turn support hopefully if we do break below that we're looking at the 0.618 at 40k break below that we're looking at like you know 39 38 37 and hopefully that'll be a wick and that'll be it um, I don't think we're gonna have enough selling volume to do that um, just the, again this is a low volume day so um, I, I think that we will probably have a little shakeout yeah, either retest this support, maybe get a wick, and then come back up to the support. Um, you know, the 41, 42K, yeah, 40, 41. Um, now, what would be kind of cool if this created a uh, W pattern, and a W's tend to be bullish. So, say we get a wick down here, come on back down, come up. This will be a giant W, and then we could look at going up higher. Everyone's saying, is it going to dump? Is it going to pump? Like everything online is saying dump or pump. And usually when everyone's saying dump or pump, dump or pump, both happen. So if we get a big pump, maybe we get another dump. But if we get a big dump, that'll probably be it. And then we're going to go on up. So that's my sort of feeling slash analysis. Crypto Fear and Greed printed a 21 yesterday. Um, that's pretty low. Obviously, it'll be lower today. If we're in the teens again, or if we get a big dump down and hit 10 again, I'm mean, out say that's probably a solid buying zone. But that's what I'm going to do. This is on the uh, six hour on Crypto Watch. Just looking at our support levels here. Um, zoom in a little bit. This is kind of just looking at worst case scenarios, right? And uh, if we do get a big, big sort of uh, capitulation dump tonight and also also a full moon night and full and new moons tend to have a fair amount of activity so yeah the last full moon was a pump the last new moon was a dump the two last two new moons have been dumps so hopefully this will be a pump but yeah i was looking at let's look at the daily bpvr Our biggest level of uh, VPVR support, you know, 35, 36, 37, and then it's a lot down there. Let's see. I really need to get a new computer. Come on down. Yeah, I, mean, I can see us coming down as far as 34. And kind of a really bad case scenario. Um, the six hour was saying 37. Let's see what the four hour says. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to know a lot more come tomorrow morning. But, you know, we'll have to. Play it by ear. We really need to get on up though. I mean, all this downwards price action. Um, uh, well, I do have some support. This is on the four hour. We do have a fair amount of support, four hour support on the between 40 and 41. I don't think that's going to be terribly easy to penetrate. And uh, we. we, we It'd be easier to have a bounce on up to the uh, 45k, 44, 45k level. 
there's not a whole lot of resistance in here. We have a lot more support below us as you look right there. So that's interesting. Let's look at the hourly just for the fun of it. This will give us a better idea. Short term here. Yeah, so we could, could come on down to 40K, like I was saying. We're building support in this area, but this support could become resistance. So a fall back down. 240, 41, or 40, 42, 5. It's looking like it could happen on the VPVR. You know, can't look at everything, just one the indicator. I, I like to look at support lines and triangles and grids, and those just seem to be um, just pretty accurate. I mean, I, I could see us coming down here and flipping that. Um, Crypto Bubbles, ADA, Cardano. It's on a huge rip. I'm a big holder, um, big believer. And uh, I'm sure we'll get a little bit of retracement. I think this is $1.50, $1.54. It broke resistance. And to me, that makes it kind of makes me excited. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. I, I love Cardano. Uh, you could stake it on Daedalus and Neoroy. Uh, Voyager, most as Celsius, you can stake it all, you know, get interest four to five percent on most platforms. So it's a good deal. We also have hmm, BitTorrent for some reason and IOTA. Everything else is red, red, red. Quite unfortunate. But that's great for ADA. Um, Anyways, we're getting a little bit of a pump right now. Not huge. But this like little slight bounce. Let's take a look at it a little closer. Yeah. Yeah. Also the hourly is really oversold. Taking a look at the RSI. Zoom up here. Come on now. Yeah, we're really oversold. We haven't been this oversold since the uh, 39k break. And then, let's see, that was down here. Yeah. And actually, we're getting some hourly bullish divergence. If you wanted to pull this down. See, we could still see that we have a little bit further to come down, so that's why I think that maybe going down to 41 solid, 40,800 might be a move, and uh, that'd be good. Just get, get this over with. Let's wake up and see a new month. I don't know. Got another week or two. Anyways, that's, uh, that's a little update for me. Just hang in there. I think we're going to see some one last drop and then hopefully uh, pop on up. Good luck and Godspeed.